Hey everyone, this is Bazooka. Welcome to one of my videos and welcome to Random Ramblings. This time is, of course, the new Demo Shield. Talking about the new Demo Shield, the Tide Turner. Of course, as per usual, I'm pretty sure we all know exactly what uh, what it does, but just to be sure, going over it, it has 25% fire damage resistance and explosive damage resistance. Uh, and it gives you full turning control while you're charging and kills while you're charging refill 100% of your charge meter so uh... in terms of a shield it doesn't like shields usually don't the shields don't have a downside because the downside is already you're not using your s sticky bomb launcher that that's a pretty big downgrade <laughs> but uh... so let's let's just go over the tide turner in general. So the tide turner is uh well, it's it's pretty good. So th let's start off with the the resistance the resistances. Of course, it's not as big of resistances as the charge and charge because the charge and charge grants you full immunity to afterburn. That's 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 pretty good deal if you ask me. So uh, if it's like it's twenty five percent less damage from fire and explosions so that still gives you like a, a decent amount of resistances uh, and it gives more than the splendid screen the splendid screen only gives 20 20 percent fire damage resistance and 15 percent explosive damage resistance uh, but then again it can deal massive amounts of damage in without even having any heads like it's supposed to or like or when it can have heads it's just like it does massive amounts of damage so it it uh i think i think it's fair having 25 percent fire and explosive damage resistance on this thing uh makes it so it's a little bit better in terms of like getting in there than the than the splendid screen but it's obviously not as good as the charging charge charge and charge in terms of resistances because that thing even though it gives you full immunity to afterburn, it doesn't really have many other upsides. So it needs that extra resistances so you can really get in there and actually do things. Uh, and then, of course, here's the big deal. The full turning control while charging. And the kills while charging refill 100% your charge meter. So the full the full turning, uh, as many of you people who have watched Star's video before they fixed it... Uh, uh, it was kind of like that. It was like the the broken, the broken uh, demo night turning, where if you increased your frame rate, it would it would just allow you to turn at ridiculous amounts. For it's completely uncalled for, but it made demo night pretty pretty good. I hadn't realized how you did that until Star pointed it out, and then as soon as Star pointed it out, uh, well. They fixed it, <laughs> and uh, I guess they kind of realized that demo knights are kind of hard to use if they just go in a straight line. I mean, of course, they can still be absolutely devastating. The splendid screen already shows that, and uh, charge and charge allows you know you to not die from afterburn, so that's pretty good too. Uh, so uh, they, I guess, they said, "Hey, let's let's make it." Demo sh demo knight. Let's make a, de a demo man shield where you can turn, and it's absolutely insane because you can you can you can juke people. You can fool them into thinking you're running away. Like oh okay, you like charge in, kill a medic, charge out, and then turn around and kill someone else. Just like what is this garbage? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, what I just said there also ties into the kills while charging or feel, uh, refill, uh, refill, refill 100% of your charge meter. So, uh, being able to get in, uh, do like hit and run, like actual hit and run with the demo, the demo knight class is just, you know, go in, pick off the medic or you know a really easy to kill class with full crit hit and then just zoom out of there if you can't take on anyone else just zoom out of there you, you want none of that <laughs> so you just you just hit someone go out uh so that that's pretty good it's it's pretty pretty good uh they even included the you know the u-turn achievement where you kill someone while you're charging where at the beginning of the charge you don't see them so kill someone who you didn't see at the beginning of your charge so it's it's 
pretty good. It's pretty funny when you can uh, match it, literally do a U-turn and kill someone who is right behind you because they think, oh wait, he's he's gonna run away. Okay, no, kill someone. They killed the guy that's trying to chase after you. It's pretty good. Uh, one little tiny thing that I should note about the Tide Turner is, uh, sure, it gives you full turning control while you're charging. Doesn't necessarily mean that you should go absolutely crazy when you turn. Uh, if you turn too sharply, I've found, if you turn too sharply, you ram into yourself. I know that makes no sense, but it's true. If you turn really sharply, you'll end up like hitting your your after image trail. You know that that crazy blurry trail that uh, Demonite charges have. You'll bump into that, and you will you'll stop charging. <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing, but it happens. Um, Perhaps not all the time because I don't really see a reason why you'd need to turn that sharply because you pretty much have to do a full one thir uh, a 130. That isn't even half. <laughs> you pretty much need to do like, uh, I, I don't know what. I can't, I can't do quick math in my head, but you have to do like a 360 or like one, one quarter less of a 360. Uh, I feel dumb. <laughs> Wait a minute, a 720! Yeah, that's it! <laughs> because it's all just right angles. Okay, 90, 180, 7, 720! Whoa, that's a huge jump in numbers. No, it's... <laughs> you need to... It, you kind of crash yourself when you do pretty much a 360. I'd, I'd say maybe a 720... A 20... T hmm, 270! Degrees! Angles! I don't know how they work. <laughs> uh, why? Uh, <laughs> but you get it. You, if you turn too sharply, you're grabbing it to yourself. Okay, that's that's the main point I'm getting at here. All right. So moving on to the items that I think work well with this. Of course, Islander. Of course, Islander. It's just what? Why wouldn't you use it? You get more HP, you become faster, and it's just, if you get more HP, you'll be able to live longer, too, when you have to go up against those that unexpected heavy, where you charge in, and it's like, oh, great, it's a heavy. How am I going to deal with this? Well, you already did, like, possibly 100 damage with the, with the, the ram, and then you also do 195 from the crit swing, so that's... Pretty much already did. That no wait no, maybe no. wait okay. The charge does fifty. I know that much. Like the charge ram does fifty. The impact does fifty, and then you get ten more damage for each head you have. So that's forty. So ninety. So that that's still close to them being dead. You just need one swing, okay? Just yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? Pretty much any demo knight sword is good. <laughs> they all have their really good uses. The Scotsman Skull Cutter allows you to do a ton of damage. Have you ever been critted by a Scotsman Skull Cutter? It's not fun! Especially when you're a soldier, and you're, like, you know, you still have a bit of a buff going on when you've been healed up by a medic. It's just, you get crit by a Scotsman Skull Cutter, and it's horrible, because it does more than 200 damage. <laughs> It's so bad, but that's what my, that's why I'm saying it's good. The Clay of More is all right, I suppose. Uh, Star did mention that the Clay of More is makes it a little bit more gimmicky, allows you to charge further, but it means you don't have the crit swing more readily available to you. Still, it it's uh, it's not bad. The half Zatuigi, of course, is great. It negates pretty much all damage that you take if you kill someone. So you go in there. You take a few, you know, a few spray, a few stray bullets, some explosions. Who, who cares? If you kill someone, you can, you get all of your HP back, and you have a full recharge, so you can just, just dead. I'm out of there. So it's all good. Persian Persuader is a great, um, is a great, uh, you know, buffering tool, a good utility because uh, it allows you to recharge faster so that way if you do end up screwing up your charge it will recharge faster and then you'll be able to charge again and maybe not screw it up 
or you will screw it up because you're just not good with Demo Knight like 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 me. I'm not good. I'm not good as Demo Knight. It's fun, but I'm not good. <laughs> um Of course, of course, gotta talk gotta talk about the caber. Of course the caber. Like it's the caber. You can't you can't not talk about the caber. <laughs> Especially with any of the shields, you, you can't not talk about the caber. A, 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 a crit swing from a caber kills a lot of classes. It kills every class if they're not buffed. Okay, that that's that's pretty that's pretty devastating if you ask me. <laughs> so that that's why that's why you gotta talk about the caber because it's the caber. It's it's powerful. You can't underestimate the power of crits, man. Especially not the caber. <laughs> Uh, yeah, of course, uh, those, those are just the, just, those are just the melees, alright? That's just the melees. Of course, we've got the primaries, because you can, you can still do that. Uh, of course, the, the boots, the boot items, not, not really necessary anymore, because 100% of 100% in this case is nothing. <laughs> like, it doesn't, it doesn't even do anything. At this point, it gives you 25. It gives you 25 more health, so that's okay. It, I guess if you're using the half Zatuichi and you know you you have 25 more health uh, that you can soak up, you you can soak up 25 more damage. So that, that's not that's not so bad. Uh, the grenade launcher, of course, is still good. Uh, the lock and load is great for burst damage, and then the can the loose cannon. Of course, you can be a, a cannon knight and uh, cannon jump all over the place, like a crazy maniac. Cannon jump and then charge and then kill someone and then maybe charge again and then cannon jump away. <laughs> uh, the base jumper is, however, not good. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can even use this in medieval mode. You might be able to, but uh, th that's really the only spot I can think of using it because uh, unless you're super exceptionally well at Demonite and know where you can, you know, ramp off of places to get, you know, high altitude, uh, really the base jumper is completely useless for a Demonite. So th I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that. So, that is my general thoughts on the Tide Turner. It, I, I, again, I think it's a really good item. Uh, as I said in my quick overview of all the items, I think the Tide Turner is definitely going to be the Demonite staple now. It's going to be the shield that all Demonites use. Maybe the Splendid Screen, because that allows you to do tons of damage. However, the Splend, uh, the... Tide Turner allows you to get multiple charges in if you can kill a lot of people, and that 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 crit swing, the the guaranteed crit crit swing at the end of your charge is really really powerful. So that will entice more players to uh, use the Tide Turner. The the charge and charge will still be used, but not as much. Same with the Splendid Screen because I think the ability to just completely control how you're turning is just w way too good in comparison to the other shields. So yes, uh, that is going to do it for this video. I think I already said that, but whatever. Uh, is there anything that I missed with the Tide Turner? Uh, you know, anything? I think I covered a lot of it because that's it, you don't really see uh, competitive people playing as Demo Knights. I, I don't think they would even allow this. Would they? I don't even know. But anyway, if I did miss something very important, please leave a comment down below. And, uh, so yes, I thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Next time, of course, is another, another, another one of these Love and War update weapon videos. Ooh, man. Okay, on the fourth one, only one more to go after, after I get the next one done. Oh, boy. So, have a great day and a good night. Mm, bye.